Hey there, welcome back, Marius here, and today we have Smallland and my first impression about the game. So, let's jump right to the game. I will address most concerning issues, which are right here. If you are familiar with Steam, I need to point out a few things. First off, this is an early access game. This is literally just dropped out with the version 0.2, I guess, something. So... That's first thing. Second thing, the price tank and the closest competitor to this game is grounded. It costs 40 bucks, so they are not even in the si same price range. So that's another huge thing to point out. And last but not least, I will just briefly, I said, I just briefly will touch upon some, well, you should always read the um, reviews and everything, but I want to address a lot of them, if not all of them, and kind of give my impression, because you can find such things as it's uh, the, the combat is bad, it's hard to target, it's hard to tame, it's, it's impossible to get to the things, the armor is whatnot, uh, really hard, storms, whatnot. A lot of things, traveling, traveling, a lot of about traveling. So, not going to bo bore you with this. You can find the link down in the description. And um, yeah, one more thing, just just on, just they kind of kept their promise about available at the launch. All the things are there, and there's more things to come. So that's in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump in, and I will open up the game uh, here i need to inform you i kind of a little bit cheated it's not my first impression it actually i have done everything in this early access as far as it's it's available uh, but two things and also two things absolutely changed my opinion about the game so uh, i will show you and explain both of them and also, in the meanwhile, we'll address all the issues that probably are being also taken care of with the content updates and patch. So, I don't know. I don't know how guys are saying, I cannot recommend a game if the game is not out there. Remember, early access is its not a finished game. And, of course, you cannot give thumbs up for the game that is not finished. Not a single one, it should be like that. All right, so let me just move out a little bit. So avoiding things, uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm just load, loaded up. So I turned the camera away. So spoiler, spoiler alert. So I will show you and I need to show you some things that are later in the game to address the concerns some of the reviews have there, right? So that's how we will, yeah, sorry, but the, in this game, there is no much of our exploration and, and such discovery as in Grounded. There's way more streamlined and basically they are showing you a lot of things. Uh, with that mentioned, you've been warned that you will see things that are in early access end stage, right? So first off, yeah, I have specifically dressed up like I don't have anything, but yeah, well, my tool already gives away a lot of information. So. Uh, this is the building and we will go through everything you see here. It's basically that's it. That's that's final and we have currently a daytime So I will go down uh, on a ground level Just to show you what's what's there. So first off we need to mention and I need to sh well Not worth mentioning because you already see it's totally different style than grounded. So They went for realistic look what you have seen, what you can see right now in the background, it's um, high settings, not ultra, because otherwise my graphics card will melt, but it's not that bad. I believe their um, improvements will come over time. So um, I will just play in the background so you can also see the gameplay, how it plays out. And one thing that I will not be able to demonstrate on this, this video, but uh, not going to brag, but will compare to the closest game we have that's a grounded uh, and address the concerns about game being too harsh, too hard. Uh, the bugs will bite you, and obviously, if you run into Vasp, 
uh, wasps and, and, and other high level bugs, they will absolutely destroy you. No. Grounded is about five to seven times harder than this game because here, whenever you have first or second armor, well, first, no, second or third armor by the level, you basically can, can destroy every single bug enemy in this game. I have only two armors used in this game. the This basic armor and then upgrade it into the stone armor because it's really cheap and fast to get. You can get it right away. And then only to the last in the game. A brief period I had B armor, but basically that was, well, resources not well spent. Uh, I skipped all the other armors, but if you go through the period that over the time, basically upgrade and get every one of them, you will not have this huge gap where you are uh, fighting big bugs with, with poor armor, right? So, yeah, I'll start with one thing. Well, next thing. Let's talk about two things that absolutely changed my mind and absolutely destroy half of the bad reviews in the Steam, all right? Which is traveling. And those things, if you're wondering, um, yes, this is how end game best armor currently looks like. And if you're wondering about those wings, yeah, they're not just for the looks. And uh, first, thing yeah the game is a little bit glitchy when it needs to load some new uh, interaction um, some new action it's it's kind of freezes well for a half split second so first off this gliding thing this is absolutely game changer in terms of traveling in terms of jumping there is also a, a complaint that you die from um fall damage absolutely of being there i feel you and that is your problem because did i mention this is the end game armor that you can glide with right so you are like no i already i already hear from from recording this video someone is typing yeah this is the end game armor obviously it's super strong um that doesn't count what if I told you this is not the only armor that can glide over and fly? Ah, the bug is biting me and it doesn't matter. Behold, there is way more achievable and to be honest, this this uh, armor and where to get it, it's shown right away at the start. So having the problems with um, fall damage, there's nothing else but poor gaming. It's it's sorry, but it's I will just honestly I will defend the game because at the start I did not like it as well because I found a lot of problems that are mentioned. But if you play the little bit more and find out how you absolutely skipped and missed to, that you can get this armor, well basically as soon as you can kill a bee, which is quite early, uh, then yeah, sorry, there is no excuse. If you're wondering what's the second thing, okay, you can glide, and what's the second thing that absolutely destroys the opinion that the game is so runny and, and, and problematic and everything? Uh, behold, watch the ho hands closely. Oh yes. Does it look like grappling hook? Absolutely it does. Does it work like one? Well, see for yourselves. Well, that was a poor landing, but... Can I be a Spider-Man? Where did my... Why I can't... <laughs> it's sometimes it's when you are too far away, it does not allow you to... Can you combine them? Yes. And of course, it is really uh, dependent on the uh, area you are, as you can see. As soon as you touch the ground, you it doesn't work like a grappling hook we are used to from gaming, gaming where it basically works like a huge uh, rubber that pulls you in. It is more like a swing, like a um, real Tarzan style. Yeah, here we will 
use just a good old So you see there is again no problem with traveling or running or anyways I think I have addressed and when I found out there are such things I was like oh damn we just run out of all the problems all the issues just just like that how cool is that and if you're wondering when the stamina goes down no you don't fall right away you just slide down because you're out of stamina the game is so forgiving and so honestly easy that all the complaints about how it's hard yeah those people haven't played grounded grounded is that's that's like absolute killer uh, even at the end game if you if you find yourself in in um some bug area you are absolutely destroyed so let's let's address next thing next thing is someone you can find a, a, a point where you have these things and yes you have you can target them and then individu individually pick up one by one which is annoying but did you know that you can also I will just demonstrate it I don't know why I'm doing this my first impressions were not as bad as someone's else but I can do play now I'm not playing so you see there's a bunch of things I will watch I will actually look in the sky press and hold F button that basically works like a vacuum cleaner that sucks up everything you don't have to aim anywhere it's uh, I, I literally those those reviews it feels like someone writes them before even opening the game and playing like ah, I'm like just you know when there's a real criticism about things that are bad or nothing in intended or intuitive or whatnot I understand but when everything is done for our enjoyment and people still complain then I'm like what the hell man uh, yeah one also thing that uh, separates this game from uh, grounded if you have noticed there is a vaulting so whenever you are too far above actually yeah you you line on the things which is which was super nice after a grounded where it's nope nothing then getting a grappling hook and the sun is going down that's why i'm going back to the base so i can show you some more things uh if you are wondering yes th there are a quite good praise about this um base mechanics let's call it where you have your base if you use please use yes that was another problem I did where I built my base on a ground level but here it's meant to be up in this these trees the trees that have these climbing ladders around them there are other trees where you can't have a, a base on top so they have distinguished look you will find them and of course uh, there's this this one gives away this balloon that drives you up and down so the thing is you can just move them over from tree to tree i found there's a tree uh i th think there's a tree there's a three uh, there is a three there's a lot a lot actually i think some some four or five trees and they can be just just you arrive at them and then you can claim them and move over all the base where you are so basically you start at one position then you move to other and honestly let me try to pass the night so we can have a nice look yes you can climb also in your base let's see if it works i fall yes we have sunrise and it's there and let me just once again show you and, and, and reiterate on the traveling 
We'll do some crazy stuff here, right? Because I promised you gameplay. So first off, from one tree, you can see another tree and you can actually glide over to the other tree. And then you see, that's in the far distance. This, this is another tree, but we will do something better. So this is the furthest that goes in early access. And yes, in a map, you can see there's no much of exploration. Uh, when you talk with one guy, it says there's another guy, then every guy says, go kill that bug then refers to another guy she says well kill the spider then says go to the knock basically it's same thing over and over again in just early access i believe there will be more quest lines and whatnot but basically that's that's it that's that's currently what we can do so uh you have some things and this is the last last beetle as you can see it separates there's high level enemies high level bugs this boss was one of the easiest whatsoever well i have had high level armor but let me show you what we will do just making sure yeah we have 26 more times we can do the grapple uh, yes they are using armor but i have marked the beetle at the top of the screen so you can see what we can do you see there's one tree there's another tree there's more tree three three trees in a row now we are uh. so you see we will combine them gliding and <laughs> not so great but So basically the gliding thing and the, the, the rope thing, both of them can work together. Yes, I need stamina. The water is another problem someone mentioned. Yes, in this game you can swim. Absolutely agree, it could be better. Let me demonstrate a landing. That's it. So absolutely worst glide absolutely worst work with the, uh, this this grappling hook let me find what's the right yeah grappling gun it's called gun so look at the distance we traveled from our base basically half of the time and yes the furthest i can go is about here Ooh, we have a gecko gecko wanna, wants to play uh yeah it, you can mount them you can tame them i don't have food with me as you can see mm, and it's dead so another thing people complained was nourishment so how fast it dry, uh, goes down i can show you yes let me show you you can eat absolute garbage things and, and basic ingredients and it goes a little bit up and then it goes down so it might feel bad but once you have things let's say like anything better that you cook it not only replenishes the nourishment it also as you can see gives a full stomach so for 70 720 seconds you can call it 20 minutes i guess the nourishment will not go down and when the that pause stops then it starts going down from the whatever number I have, 96. So, yes, the, the food. If you don't know how to play survival games and you eat absolute raw ingredients and then complain it's, it's not sustainable, game is not the problem. Not to tell what is the problem, but it's not the game, okay? Let's, let's put it this way, because... <clears throat> Uh, these salamanders, they are quite strong, but honestly, this is not the biggest issue. And I'm just bluntly ignoring the fact that uh, you you can dodge, you can block, you can do all the stuff. We are not here for that. We are here to do some more important things, showing you the gameplay. And we are going to... 
not a dress, but yeah, I don't like those spiders. They had but quite strongly. Not strongly, you have to just pay attention. So, you know, I'm talking to you and explaining how the game, this is basically the end area. And we are going to find one of the strongest and the, the yeah. While we have blackbirds again, you can eat them and they give you a little bit nourishment. So these bugs are quite strong. Well, they are resistant, they are not strong, but we are going to... Yeah. Where are you? Yeah, we attracted... The hornets are... Well, okay, I'll, I'll show you the proper way to deal with them. Just roll out of the way, hit. Don't hit twice, don't get greedy. Because otherwise you will be out of stamina and you can't... See? Every single enemy... Oh boy, it was too fast. So, inventory full, we don't care. We are not here for you. We are looking for some even higher level enemies. And yep, yeah, I think it was here. Yes, yes indeed. I can shut up for a moment so you can appreciate how the game runs. I don't want that hornet. Can I? Can I? Is it? Is it? Fine. Not saying the game is perfect. It's definitely not. Is it cool? Yes. Is the grappling hook cool? Absolutely. Is the gliding awesome? Yes. Does it make all the traveling easy as that? Absolutely. So all the complaints about traveling and running and, and all those, I'm just... These guys have not played the game enough to find or discover or, or actually do any basic things. So, if you're wondering what we are after... Yeah, too high. Okay, fine. Somewhere here is friend of mine. Looks like a salamander, walks like a salamander, but it's not a salamander. Why? Because it's a lizard. Hey, lizard! So you see? This is kind of... And you see how much damage it does? We want to recover, so I'm applying bandages, avoiding getting the pattern. Is all what matters. Avoiding damage, going away, roll and hit, roll and hit. Of course, I have the best armor in the game, so you know, and just finish it off. That's it. So, about the ingredients, there are some cool things. You absolutely want to have those lizard claws. So, you know, dropping off anything else. Four claws, that's nice. That's nice. So, neat, neat trick that you can use, by the way, if you want to. I don't have one. Oh, no, I have arrows. Of course, I have arrows. This is the highest level bow. That's absolutely. Oh damn! Oh no, it's dead. Sorry. Can I kill the bug with it? Yeah, 
while I'm attacking the bug, it doesn't see me, they take extra damage. So this is way more annoying thing. Because it has resistance against my... against my weapon. That's why it's annoying. My advice, if you think rolling on the side, it depends on an enemy. When you attack Wasp, yes, rolling on the side is important and, and, and for Wasp, yes. For this thing, rolling in front actually is the correct. And many, many enemies rolling in front is the best because you will have still close distance, right? And again, we have some things that are better than that. Let me drop off. What is the worst? This is the worst. Well, it's easy to get, so I don't need as much. Seeds are quite awesome. Ugh, okay, food goes down. See what we have. Yeah, those eggs. No, I don't need. All right, so traveling is easy. Armor is super overpowered. You can kill everything. And traveling is just absolutely amazing. I don't know, guys. Uh, there is an auto loot, kind of that allows you to pick items. Oh, oh, you know what mistake I did? No, no. You have to enable, that's annoying a little bit thing. You have to enable grappling hook does not work if you don't have these, um, what it's called. What's the name? Hooks. Hooks. Go. You see how the traveling works? You see how I swing over? It's just like Tarzan and I... We are out of... We are out of that area. Simple as that. And we will die as simple as that as well. One thing that's, yeah, it is annoying, yes, yes, it's dying, no, it wasn't intentionally, but this game allows you to keep everything that you had on you and in your hand, which in this scenario gives you absolutely the best armor that can glide through. Look at that. I have hooks and I also have grappling gun. So if you are dying like I did just now, that basically the game says, yeah, mistakes were made. Not a problem, not a problem, mister. You can get back and get your hooks and everything. All you need now is, well, I have enough hooks, but I am in the base, so I can reinforce back my supplies. Just show you. Nah, but not. I have 27, so I can. And I should make 70 hooks. I will just d demonstrate what happens. Do, 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 do. So, I had, oh, even less, sorry. But it's, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are also out of the food, but as we are in the base, you can absolutely easily pick up anything that was there. I don't need anything more. It already is quite good food, so I mean, if you compare to whatever experience uh, this, what it's called, Grounded had, this game is just literally the easiest of the easiest and then walking apart. The bosses if you are not absolutely naked, they are kind of simple as well. 
So this is my tree. This is where I start. This is where I need to go. So we'll try to travel a little bit better than previous time because previous was kind of disaster. My problem will try to show you also some techniques. Look at this. We literally slide, glided over and this is where I can move over my base. Okay, actually, I don't want to, but I will because well, I want to show you how it happens. See, this is another tree. Way closer to the point. I want to climb this tree. Boom. Everything is here. So now I will be even closer to the point where I keep dying. And yes, storm approaches. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, it would be smart to pass it over, but we already saw I'm not very smartish things doing here, so... Let me just show you this, this traveling. Once you find this this grappling hook, I even I I mean, how far I can glide from here? It's it's literally, and this area, this church, will be in the next chapter. They have this mentioned. Um, it's it's in a plans in the roadmap. So now we just let it. Let it go for a moment. Now we use a swing. I mean... Oh, oh. Where is my... Yes. If you don't know, then when you die, they teleport your... Not at the mo point where you died. For example, if you uh, drop in a water, then obviously you will not be able to pick up from the water. So where you last time were on the ground, that's where your gravestone will be. You saw how easily I... I it's just, It's nothing. It's nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, I stuck. Let's see if we can find out. Oh yes. Well, we need a shelter. And I'm freezing. Yeah, it's not good. Someone also complained about the um, storms being really harsh. Do not, do not. Freezing is a thing. Hmm, I should absolutely do something about it. Think, let me think. I can find a shelter if it's nearby. Let me just try to. For sure, I will make it in time. No shelter underneath. Oh, there's a lizard. We don't want Mr. Lizard near us hmm? oh. yes the storm as you can see with full health if you're not attacking I was trying to find a, a way how to survive did I need that absolutely not because I will unfreeze well when you are frozen you see I have less health but that health will be regenerating because I'm just literally just warming up <laughs> now I don't want to fight you just let me let it go I believe this is enough. <laughs> Funny how those hooks are still there. So, 
the traveling. Absolutely easy. Climbing, easy. Gliding, even more easy. <laughs> Some bugs biting you, not a problem. And we are back in the main mainland. Whew, that was close. So yeah, gameplay there. The base I showed you. Now, oh, now I need to understand. This, where's my new base? Where did I put it? Nah, it's in that tree. Right, right. Yeah, some, some things try to bite me, you know what? Bite my ass. Ooh. Did not turn on the glide thing. Healing patch. And we are just running, running over. Uh, if you are already not guessing, then at the first I had the impression that the game is really poorly doing uh, impression of Grounded. But I was pro proven wrong. Uh, there are quite a lot new innovative things like the same vaulting you just saw how, how you can climb in quite steep uh, areas. This thing you saw? You saw that thing? Yeah, no, 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 no. I want to call a lift. So, yeah, there was also a point where uh, someone mentioned that these um items are degrading really fast i try to address that as well let me see if it will be possible so it requires a little bit explanation because i think there will be some minor things so normally in games like this whenever your weapon or something is broken you, well there's two ways either you just repair they don't break Either you can repair them without no cost, and the third option is they cost some materials. Especially in the games like this, where everything, everything renews, basically through the cycle of the sleeping and the night and day, every single resource responds. There is nothing, even bosses respawn if you want some more awesome items and whatnot. So in this case scenario, when you go to repair, you can find that you will be required for some items. So. Pay attention to this. This is important. If the item is not broken by a lot, it requires nothing to repair. And actually, if you run out, you see how, how much I have this. I don't know if that will be the end, end game uh, in the late game, but even here, when this, this ironing helmet is so strongly damaged, I believe it, if the damage would be even further, it would request uh, request some items. For example, you see the traveler's legs. It seems like below 50%, it requires fiber. I have a lot of fiber. All other items I managed to s uh, repair without any cost. There are some reviews that say, no, 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 they are breaking us as fast and oh my God. No, nope, no, nope, they are not. The first ones that require some fiber or nothing nothing expensive they might break and especially when you don't come back home and repair them over a time also just a quick note at any given point and in, in, in time in your journey you can pull out your building hammer and construct this workbench that does not require any other building just having resin fi fiber or wood placing it down repairing without no cost i actually realize this is the biggest tip and trick for everyone and you can go through the game without a single cost to single repair to single item so all those complaints just vanished uh, fiber wood and resin can be found everywhere in the game everywhere uh, there are different forms through the small saplings to the chopping down some wood or something, you can find them in, in just, I don't know, 10 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds. So all those complaints, ooh, I didn't, I didn't, ooh, I, ha I haven't built this one yet. So yeah, uh, in, in my case scenario, yes, I have overstepped a little bit. Uh, I have some 
extra prayers needed resin okay fine i have like few hundred million tons of resin and this repair yes it costs and it costs some portion of the same materials that was required to build it again that was my mistake because i was not repairing it fast enough food nothing eat and you are good actually uh, made mistake I, I had to sleep first and yes you can spend you see in the background there's a, a day and night cycle so this should be a morning now and i can eat and it's so overall there are things that i might complain but as i've seen complaining part is quite well covered in the steam reviews uh one of them is you have 100 health and you have 100 hunger and all those things. There is no nothing that like mutations or upgrades or or nothing. It's basically you are as you are and only items that you wear impact the things. And and then rest of that, yeah, the item discovery is also quite not hidden. If you go over a codex and you, yeah, you take some time after loads you can literally read out from the start what uh, what what's there uh, apparently i have haven't got some some items and um, you can and i found yeah I, I scrolled at the bottom and i was like forge furnace and stone or owen was like not discovered and they are unlocked item by item once you build one the next one unlocks. When the next one unlocks, you build the next one. I had to build windmill to open the rest, three rest of those items. And then afterwards, when you have materials, it's just, it's super way more intuitive than in grounded. That's where, where you had to have the item in your hand. And even then sometimes you need another material before you get the, oh, now I can make something. It's, it's, it's just there. It's simple as, as, as and it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Now realizing that you can actually go through the game without a single uh, material used for repairing is just, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And still people complain about it. I mean, yeah, there are people. Anyways, my impression, this is close to compare for um, Grounded, but in so many ways, in so many ways, it's not. And it's, yeah, the traveling. Uh, the riding thing, yeah. Did I mention there's only two things I haven't done? Well, three if you're counting the arm, um, iron chest. I don't have iron chest because, yeah, they're kind of, kind of expensive. Yeah. Fine, just, just because you asked. Let me see, let me see. Iron chest, okay. Let's leave the, the video with only two things that I haven't done in this game. And two things only are... I haven't got spider... This is spider, how it's... What, what its name? Wolf spider, yes. Wolf spider treat. You have to craft one. I have all the ingredients, I just didn't bother to go through them. Uh, so having that... And the second one is to build this flying then then them they'll fly that's how you call them i haven't spoken that word ever so uh yeah this is the mount that you can fly with which is absolutely cool i have found the fireflies jew I, I also have all the ingredients i need to make find and tame so that's two things only i haven't and the gross hopper and and salamander they are too slow when you have this glinding glinding option and and combine with this thing you don't need any more to travel trust me this is all you need <laughs> so yeah Quite good, quite awesome. I am really, really interested in looking forward what they will add to the game. Just a small reminder, when the Grounded was announced and released right away, there was 
a lot of things differently than it ended up in the final version. So they added a, not only revealed more areas and biomes, but also they added the same mutations, uh, extended the building, the, 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 how, how, how works the, the crafting and juice creation station and all that. So this game, in my opinion, is... I was afraid it will be a, a knockoff, but with the price tag, half of the grounded, guys, you have full my support, you have all the flying and, and grappling hook funds over here, because, well, grappling hooks are amazing. They have them here. They have movable houses, bases, which are basically safe havens. If you have noticed, there is not a single animal here that destroys them. Which, in the ground, that whenever you are building something, you can always find an angry bug that will try and will take your food and will try to destroy and, and big spiders will come and absolutely demolish you. In this game, no, no. This game feels way more relaxed, easy, fun. But again, this is the first iteration of the game, so we need to see more before we can make a distinguish absolutely great, absolutely not. For a moment, I want to go back and see just this screen uh, to, to reiterate that we will have new Hornet mount, there will be colony spider enemies, new weapons. I'm looking forward. There's there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, tools, we'll see. As I said, new location, the chapel. That's how you call it. But yeah, currently it's inaccessible. And, and new NPCs merchant. This will be something interesting. The current, if the current NPCs are considered merchants, because you can get, and only way how you can get armor is purchased from that merchant. <clears throat> but it is here to stay so you acquire and then it's yours so a bit different um, approach than in, in, in grounded and if you look for the further content we don't know when it's released so it's just there so some improvements for season and weathers obviously they will balance out based on how much whining they will get about what things expand and mount interactions yeah currently i don't have why i haven't tried those two mounts the only reason is the mounts seem to be just disappearing and when you log off and then and, and come back or even just to travel to your to, from build, um, base to base all the times both bugs and two uh, grosshoppers just disappeared and, and one salamander so I have lost five mounts so I don't want to get this this spider bull spider or, or dragonfly uh, mount and just lose it right away, I will make a video about it because I feel like it will be a short period of time and I will have this luxury to ride around with it. So I want to capture it. That's why I haven't wasted that. Yeah. Anyways, the faction, new bosses, everything, everything. Uh, so far, I am quite impressed. And also, if you are not going for the ultra settings, which you never do for early access because Optimization is not the thing they're going for. It shouldn't be. They have a lot more things to build. Uh, I will say simple as that. My impression is I am impressed. Uh, this will be my new, well, I have first impressions uh, videos as, as such. So no rating whatsoever because the game is not done yet. It is kind of cheap and already on a discount, which is weird. But I will say I am impressed and survive the wilds. Yes, I am looking forward to see how good, how, how awesome you made the game. Uh, that grosshopper, it looks better to ride it. Yes, it can hop. The hopping takes all the stamina and then you are just walking for a while. So yeah, that gliding thing, remember the guy gliding thing? That is amazing. If you have any questions about the game, especially where to find some things, for example, you would want to so some directions or, or where to find. There's a lot of them in the internet, but if you want to ask in a comment section or, or how, how, how to obtain armors or I don't know, whatever questions you might have, feel free to drop down. I always try to, I'm too small a creator, so I have 
less comments, so I will answer them right away. Usually in one day, two days time. And yeah, we'll see you in other videos then. Cheers.